Jonas Williams continues to be the ACC's top scorer. 19.8 points per game for Alondis Williams. What an impact he has had in a Wake Forest uniform this season for Steve Forbes. Tom, one thing to look for in this game is, is tempo and who is controlling the tempo. Notre Dame does not want to get in a track meet this afternoon. Uh, they'll be opportunistic and run, but they want to be a little bit more deliberate. Wake Forest wants to get up and down. Wake with the first possession of the game. Williamson on the handle for the Demon Deacons. 20 and 7 this season. In 10 and 6 at ACC play, they have lost two in a row at Duke on Tuesday and home against Miami in their most recent home game. Off the glass and good, Laravia. And that's a tough matchup right there. Cormac Ryan undersized, and uh, Laravia did a nice job taking his time, getting good position. And coming off a double double G man at Duke earlier this week with 19 points and 10 rebounds and made all four of his three point attempts, scoring on the interior to start our game. Atkinson off the glass and he's going to the line. Well, I touched on it at the open, and this is a great look. He just kind of gets lost behind, and Alonis Williams late getting over it. It's a cheap foul. But um, I, you look at what Notre Dame has done, and uh, Atkinson's improvement over that stretch has really been a key part of this. We've heard this many times about Atkinson. It bears repeating. Player of the year in the Ivy League two seasons ago at Yale. Last year, the Ivy season was canceled, and Atkinson finds himself in a Notre Dame uniform and right in the thick of things as far as those standings are concerned for the Irish. Jimmy Beheim looked at uh, Syracuse the same coming out of the Ivy League and coming into the league but uh, you know it took Atkinson a while one to get used to, you know these portal guys have to get used to their team and then also get used to league play as well but he's adapted very very well. Goodwin picked up the foul for Mike Bray. Can you believe this, G Man? 22nd year as the head coach of the Irish. Most wins in school history of 467. See Notre Dame in the zone. They're going to try to stop that, but Laravia gets behind the zone for the lob. Laravia, now granted, he's around the basket a lot, but he shoots a ridiculous 58% from the floor, and that is best in the ACC. Wesley misses. And if they can make Wesley settle for jump shots, that'll work in Wake's favor. He is so dangerous getting to the rim. Musius is a dangerous three-point shooter. Williams tries one and misses. And that's the thing, you know, you got LaRavia going. Go to him inside. Don't settle for an early three. Wesley tried the acrobatic shot, got fouled on the way to the rim. A couple of players were in the vicinity, and they're going to give this one to Walton. First for Dallas Walton, seven-foot graduate student. Well, that's the thing, you know, if, if Notre Dame can attack and get those guys, especially Walton in foul trouble, it makes him a little bit smaller with C coming off the bench. With Wesley at the free throw line, our keys to the game are brought to you by your local Ford dealer with Mike Jeminski. Well, for Notre Dame, it's really about their guard play, and uh, specifically this guy in, in particular, a freshman, uh, really needs to play well. And for Wake Forest, they need to get Williamson going. They need to get Musius going. In this two-game losing streak, their scoring has been off. About the only thing that Wesley doesn't do well is shoot free throws. They're 64% on the season and coming up empty in that most recent trip. That's Loravia. He'll go to the line for the Deeks. And see, just as that foul transpired, Atkinson should have just let this one go. I mean, you got no chance of getting it, and you're going to put him on the line, make it a three-point play, because these guys, Notre Dame really has to conserve fouls. But uh, Laravia off to a very fast start. About seven points for Laravia, three of three from the floor. And yes, he's got all seven <laughs> Wake Forest points. He's beating Notre Dame right now. <laughs> Ravy was just an assist shy of a triple-double this year at Florida State. His teammate, Alondis Williams, did have a triple-double against USC Upstate in the non-conference schedule. Atkinson, second effort, battling inside. And he's going to have that. He's going to have a one-on-one -on -one opportunity against Walton because Wake wants to stay at home on the perimeter shooters for Notre Dame. 
Atkins is a double-digit scorer on average this season, almost 12 and a half points per game for the senior from West Palm Beach, Florida, trying to defend on Williams. Walton was there as well. Williams got it back, and is that another one on Atkinson? Yes, it is, and he was not trying. He, he's pleading his case, but uh, he's, that's, a, that's a big early foul, and Mike Bray is mulling it over with the coaching staff right now, and they're going to take him out and go a little bit smaller, bring Leshevsky in. Londis Williams at the free throw line is our Hardys start a watch 71% from the line his point total and average on the season best in the ACC for the graduate student from Milwaukee Wisconsin and the transfer from Oklahoma and there goes Atkinson G yep and uh, you know the right move is ton of time left in the first half and you can't afford to have him pick up his third and now Notre Dame gets shorter against a team that is very tall on the front line. So Williams converts. He leads the team in scoring, rebounding, and assists. In fact, his 5.2 assists are best in the ACC. Irish with the basketball and trailing by three in the first half. Goodwin straight away for three. And it bounce out of bounds. Now, you're not going to see a real presence on the offensive glass for Notre Dame. You see they got the shot and five guys went back that time. Atkinson on the bench with those two early personal fouls. Goodwin is their best three-point shooter, 47% despite that recent miss a moment ago. He's made 58 on the year to lead the team. Williams guarded by Goodwin. He'll have a little bit of a size advantage. You see it for three. Well, I talked about it. He scored 13 points total in this two-game losing streak, and uh, he needs to get going. It's a good start. Good win. Conversely, a bad start. He's missed two threes. Moravia had it knocked away. Cormac Ryan. Back. Yeah. Ryan. And then Wake Forest gets it right back with Williams. You see us again. Same spot, different result. Goodwin lost the handle on the way to the basket out of bounds. Wake Forest has the lead in the first half. We're protecting the paint. Brought to you by CPI Security. Well, we talked to Carmack Ryan is their best on-the-ball defender, and he was definitely on the ball on that play. He saved the sure two points, just hustling back. And he's, uh, this is the third straight start that he's gotten, Tom, and he's performed very well in that role. He started the last two prior today for Nate Leshevsky dealing with a leg bruise although Leshevsky still played 33 minutes and had 16 points off the bench in the overtime win against Boston College. Mike Bray told us that that brace will come off after this game and he'll just have a sleeve there. He just uh, got that yeah, drawn the charge. Irish put up 99 points in OT against the Eagles. Three second violation. And you know, that, that's something, a call you don't see a whole lot anymore. I mean, just, the, you know, there's not a lot of post play. Um, they usually get in there, they're dribbling and make a, you know, make a shot attempt pretty quickly. That's kind of rare. Ryan, catch and release, and he's ripping ropes. Well, a very solid three-point shooter, and that's what Notre Dame needs right now to kind of claw back into this game. It's not out of shape by any means. So Cormac Ryan, one of the tri-captains on this team, into the box score. First three of the game, and now he's made 34 on the season. Williamson just beyond the free throw line. Wake had it for a moment. They turn it over on the pass. Good news, bad news. And C comes up with the offensive rebound amongst four Irish, and then just the careless pass outside for a turnover. Nadim C, the transfer from Ole Miss, and played some at Virginia Tech as well in the ACC. Works is into the game as well for Notre Dame. He wears number two. So driving Ryan sends it to Wirtz. Free ball! And they've got several guys, really, who can make plays. We talked about LaRavia for Wake Forest, but uh, Notre Dame, drive, pitch, bring everybody in, get a good look at a three. 
Williams hanging. Second effort is good. Alondas Williams. With the smaller team out there, that uh, that offensive board is going to be there for Wake Forest. It's just a good second effort by Williams. Wake had made three of its first four shots, two of its last six with the Williams basket. Try to work that perimeter with Leshesky and works. And now Hub. Ryan wants that ball in the corner. Nobody sees him. Shot clock is down to five. Triple team on Leshesky. And he traveled. Well, that was great defense inside and out by Wake Forest. They cover up on the three and then they get the mismatch right there with Williamson inside and everybody converges on the ball. That's just solid defense inside and out. So the lead is now just two for Wake. Walton trying to back it down to the block over Leshetsky. Foul on the move by Walton. He'll go to the free throw line. Steve Forbes in his second season, eighth overall as a collegiate head coach. He has more than 300 career victories. He's got 20 wins racked up for this team this year. Incredible. And, you know, Tommy talked to us before the game and uh, talked about how many practices this team has had individually or to, uh, collectively since the summertime. The 141 times they've been on the wow. court. And with the, all the transfers they've had, the portals, they needed that time to come together. They were just 6 and 16 a season ago, albeit with a vastly different list on the roster. Yeah, their, their season was over in February 1st. That's what he told us. Yeah. Meaningful games in February. Leshetsky, another three for the Irish. And they're getting good looks, too, uh, when, when they're making the shots. And Leshetsky caught that in rhythm. Notre Dame as a team shoots 37% from the three-point airspace. That's fourth best of the ACC, G-Man, and they make almost nine per game. Williams, the miss. Leshetsky. Quick trigger. Works was looking for a three. Walton puts it on the floor, off the glass. They're really trying to hammer away inside, but not coming up with much. Want to try to get Leshevsky in foul trouble as well, but have not been able to do that. Last two shots for Wake, close range with Williams and Walton. Another three for Notre Dame and Prentice Hub. How about the Irish from distance? Hub is open. He's got the room and the lefty cans and the Irish are front by two. Coming in summertime. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, amazing that he's still out there making music and uh, just the... Uh, he and Ringo, the last two left from the uh, from the Beatles, but uh, Paul McCartney's still going strong. The announcement was yesterday, G-Man. Yeah. <laughs> Late May at Truist Field. A lot of success from the football program in the fall as well at that venue. Maybe you can drive my car up That's there. That's right. This could go on for a long time. <laughs> out down a winding road. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough. Enough. Right. Wake's got the ball. Notre Dame has the lead. By the way, it's Sir Paul McCartney. That's, a, that's I, wanted, I wanted to add that for clarity. Knocked away. Wesley able to recover. Leshevsky. Last seven shots, and now eight have been three-pointers, and that's Wesley this time. Five of their last six, G-Man. Yeah, and with Atkinson out, there is nobody in the paint. They're really spread out along the three-point line, and that was a nice scream by Leshevsky. So four points now for Wesley after that three. Luravia has provided most of the scoring for Wake so far. Now he wants a three-pointer. Walton offensive glass over top of Leshevsky. Luravia moving well without the basketball, but he took an extra step. Didn't catch it cleanly. It was a little, it was a tough pass, a little low. And uh, that's what caused him to travel in the paint. Here's a, see, it's a little, it's hot, a little low, but uh, one he should have caught. Still tough with a lot of bodies around him. Oh, 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 oh. 
Walton picks up his second personal foul for Wake Forest. So he and Atkinson will are on the bench now with two fouls. And as Walton goes to the bench, the Irish are on a 15 to 4 run. Remember, LaRavia had the first seven points for Wake Forest. You know, Hadim C has really stepped up for this team in situations. Maybe this is one where he can give them a little scoring. Lashesky straight away. And this, the rim. And that's what you're going to see. It's going to be Lashesky outside, C inside. Two for two on three pointers. Lashesky and six made threes in the game in the first half for Notre Dame. C in the paint around Lashesky. Yeah, and he's Lashesky is going to be very, very careful in how he guards inside. First basket for C at one end. Bounces off the rim for Wirtz. Three-pointer at the other end for Wake Forest. Monsanto. Really amazing. This guy had Achilles surgery in May, and that he's playing right now and playing meaningful minutes. Wesley pumps up a three and misses. And he's coming off of that Achilles injury. In May of last year. Witt is into the game as well for Wake. That's C. Driving and scoring and spinning. He's not going to get any help. Or, you know, Lashesky's not going to get any help. They're not going to double team, at least right now, inside. Take advantage of it. One point game in the first half. Monsanto intercepted the pass. Wakes on a 7-0 run. LaRivia, Musius. The follow. A third chance knocked away from LaRivia. Whistle and foul. First on Wesley. And so far in the game, Tom, that Wake has 12 misses, but seven offensive rebounds. They've really been able to cash in on that, and Atkinson not being out on the floor. Moravia, the junior from Indianapolis, Indiana. Cormac Ryan comes back in for a hub. He's got one of those three-pointers. And that'll put the ball in uh, Blake Wesley's hands, give, make him the primary ball handler. Moravia has it missed from the line, three for three, and now nine points. Averages 14.6 per game. And he has put the Demon Deeks in front. Wesley on the curl, trying to get by LaRavia. Bounces out, poked away to win. C, back and in. Muscling his way over the other shoulder. Got it back. Offensive foul. C picks up his first. It's really hard to do, Tom, but if you can get away with lo without lowering that shoulder, that's going to be an automatic call. Watch this great second effort, but then right there. I mean, that's an automatic call. And, uh, and he also he, he didn't need to do that to clear out space. Fantastic replay to illustrate that contact from underneath. Notre Dame 12 points off of Wake turnovers so far in the first half. Bill Covington, Roger Ayers, Ramey Styons officiating our game this afternoon. Fast paced. Missed from the corner. And Goodwin is a guy who's been silent. Only his third attempt has yet to score for the Irish. Goodwin is their leading scorer, over 15 points per game for the junior. See again. Mindful of the shoulder. Fall away. Did not get the bounce. Wesley tried the one-handed rebound. It went out of bounds, and the officials say it's off of Wake Forest. A five from inside the arc, so you know why they're concentrating right there, and they just want to try to negate Wake Forest size. And uh, Lashevsky coming in has really given them a big lift, especially from behind the arc. Uh, he's got two threes. 
Five different players have made three-point baskets for the Irish. Good one, the only good player not to score so far for the Irish. And that's the leading scorer who is yet to get to the box score for Mike Gray. He did have a game earlier this year against Duke where he did not score 0-7 in that game. <laughs> Came back strong in the following game on the road at Miami. One of those great road victories for the Irish. They are 7-3 overall away from South Bend and Notre Dame and 6-2 in the ACC on the road. Jim. Well, you, you look at the top teams in the league year in and year out, they're going to have really strong road records. I mean, that's where championships are won, on the road. Well, Wake Forest is strong at home, 13-2. and two. Wake's on a 9-0 run. They've made just four of their last 16 shots, but they are crashing the glass, leading 18 to 7 on the boards. Here's Williams with a little touch in the miss. Knocked around and taken by Hub. And it's got to be rebound by committee for Notre Dame. They've got to get five guys in the glass. Wesley three. Seven points for him, Mike, and that's his second made three-pointer on four chances and the seventh made three of the game. Here in this first half, C on the pass from Monsanto. Offensive foul, I think they're calling. And this is how Lesheski got hurt the first time, taking a charge, and he just tripped and went right into him, and that looked to be very painful. But when he got hurt um, taking a charge a couple of games ago. Crowd not agreeing with the referee's assessment. Lesheski on that Irish bench. Wesley again from the other side. And he's got three threes. Talked about the open threes early. Those were two contested tough shots that he's made. He had 18 points and five rebounds with six of 15 from the floor in 42 minutes. In the OT win against Boston College. That was at home for the Irish on Wednesday. Scooped up Wesley. Around the defender and he lays it in. Coach Forbes wants a timeout. The lead is up to seven for the Irish. And I tell you, it's tough as a freshman, but Blake Wesley has got a chance to be a really elite defender, Tom. He's got long wingspan. He's had a couple of deflections here, and this is just being active, the long arms. And I talked about them running selectively. Those are the turnovers they're going to convert on. So Wesley has 12 points now as we look at the season snapshot for the Irish. 12-3 and in the ACC. They're working on... That five-game winning streak, they've won nine of their last ten. Also factor in that net ranking as well. And they're looking for one of those double buys at the ACC tournament. That'll be at Barclays Center, second week of March. Well, the thing that's that's good, too, and really as things are winding down, all these teams are playing one another. These teams haven't met since the ACC tournament from a season ago in Greensboro. First round win for the last second shot for the Irish. That's LaRavia. He's got double digits now with 11. Goodwin racing up the court. They're going to call an offensive foul. That's the first offensive foul that uh, Notre Dame has had called on them. Goodwin's going to come out of the game. And that one could have gone either way. I Randy Stions was right there to make the call in perfect position. Laravia held his ground, absorbed the contact. Foul on Goodwin, he's on the bench. Inside of six minutes to go. In this rapidly paced first half. Laravia was able to get it back out to Williams. Trying to create. Comes up short again. I see in that play, I mean, Wesley is really a good matchup for uh, Alondas Williams, he's got the size and length to stay in front of him and also challenge a shot. How about Wesley? He's got the last eight points. He will still have the last eight points and 11 of the last 14 for the Irish after the miss. 
Williamson, tricky dribble into Leshevsky. Right, look at the five jerseys in there. Notre Dame's done a better job of the last five minutes of getting on the defensive glass. Williamson picks up the foul for the David Deeks. This is Hub. Chesky lost the handle, got it to Ryan. Hub. Deeks leading rebounder. Williams got it. Monsanto into the corner and out of bounds. So right back to the Irish. Both teams going cold at the same time, and uh, as a result, Wake has not been able to chip into that lead. Wake Forest is one of its last nine shots made. Leshevsky double teamed inside. C was there along with Monsanto. And they've been uh, they've been doing this time with uh, you know with Atkinson on the bench, and uh, Leshevsky takes advantage, goes inside that time. But uh, the, the strength of their game has been from beyond the arc. Leshevsky at the free throw line. Notre Dame 75 percent as a team is third in the ACC. While we have a moment, let's get a message from Coyote Tractor. There are better known tractors in the world than Coyote, but there's not a single tractor ever been built that's better equipped to do the dirty work. Coyote, we dig dirt. 82% free throw shooter, Nate Leshevsky, the junior from Jupiter, Florida. He had started 34 games in a row, Mike, before he had to leave the starting lineup with the leg injury. Hub on the move, up and under. And Wesley with another steal in the front of that zone. He's been very active. Five points for Hub. Williams hangs, misses. Follow is there from C. And see, you know, if Leshevsky hits the deck trying to draw a charge, there is nobody on the glass. c has got six points. Irish shooting 50% as a team, 34% for Wake. And the big advantage on the boards, 21 to 11 for the Deeks, and that is a three ball. Wow. Wesley. I mean, he has made some tough, tough shots this half. 15 points, four of six from three. Goes out of bounds and back to the Irish, so a timeout. How about the freshman, Blake Wesley? 15 points, four of six. Dialing up long distance, this time the steal and the feed. The challenge right there, and uh, he's been knocking down threes, and it's only 31% on the year from behind the arc, but certainly has it dialed in right now. And this is a guy, he was freshman of the uh, week nationally in January. Not just the ACC, but nationally. He's really made a big impact on this team. He is our fresh market, Discover the Best. Three times the ACC freshman of the week. His season high in points is 25. Season high in made threes is five. And that's Ryan on the drive for the Irish. You can see, just getting in the starting lineup, his body language is a lot different. Uh, playing a lot more freely. He was a double-digit scorer against BC, and that was an attempted alley-oop. One-handed dunk by Williams, and he wedged it. That's an atomic wedgie there. He tucked him getting a ball out. That was really wedged in there. Well, I, I don't know that I've ever seen that. You see the wedgie every once in a while. And usually it's on a, a jump shot, but uh, not like on an attempted dunk. Wow, and that's really how the first half has gone for Williams, unfortunately. He's got just four points and now one of nine shooting for Williams. Top player in that lineup for the Deeks. And that's going to be a foul on the Irish. Leshevsky. Second on Leshevsky. Okay, so now I mean, they're going to come back in with Atkinson, even with those two fouls, both of them at two. But really... Not a lot of options for Mike Bray with it. You know, it's going to be one or the other, and a lot of times they've been playing together. Witt 
brings it up. Freshman from Raleigh, North Carolina. Well, you know, if Walton can go to work on him, he's, he's going to have a pretty easy way of it. Williams. That's more like it for Williams. Yeah, just uh, in his last few minutes before the half, get some rhythm, come out, feel better about yourself in the second half. That was a terrific shot. How about the Irish with 21 points off of the nine weight turnovers in this first half? Atkinson with a kick out. Perimeter work and hub. Missing the intended target into the hands of Williams. Tries to skip his way to the rim. Looked like Wirtz had it for a moment and lost the handle out of bounds. Yeah, here's the look. And they, early on in games, they really like to find him. And uh, there are the fouls right there. And uh, he sat for a long, he was out in the 17 minute mark of the first half. He's the transfer from Yale. Was 9 of 11 from the free throw line. Critical free throws in the win against Boston College at overtime. I broke the scoreboard that game. 99 points. 99, 95. Knocked away by Hub as Witt was handling. And of course, in that Notre Dame team, they, they got, they were beaten by BC in December. But uh, a different, much different team now than then. Ancient history. They tried to work the inbounds pass. Musius got it. A couple of bounces on the rim, and that foul is going to be against Notre Dame, according Cor to Bill Covington. Jr. Yeah, Cormac Ryan on the um, trying to keep Laravia off the offensive glass. They didn't just lose at BC on December 3rd, Mike. No, they were 73 to 57. Yeah, not close. And you know what? For for whatever reason, it's and, and Mike Boy, we talked a little bit about it before the game. He said they're they're a tough matchup um, for Notre Dame. Laravi at the free throw line. As a team now, Wake is 9 of 9 from the line. Moravia with 13 points. Monsanto comes back in. Witt is out. Well, and let's see if uh, I, both of these teams need to find a secondary score and a third score. It's, it's been all Wesley and Moravia to this point. We talked about the loss on the road at Boston College for the Irish. Well, they've won five in a row on the road in the ACC, but they turn it over. Atkinson hit the deck. So doing too much off the dribble. Laravia. He got bumped in midair, mind you. 118 to go in the first half. Wow, he picked up his third. He did. So Atkinson is going to have to come out of the game. One would think with the three personals. Yeah, this one, again, you, you don't even want to get near that. It was going to be a tough shot, tough conversion. Yeah, if you watch the play, the Prentice Hub tried to go over and, and take the foul himself. Roger Ayer is not having it. Five points as Atkinson leaves. Another free throw from Laravia. Heading toward another 30-point game. Moravia hasn't missed from the line. Seven of seven at 15 points. He and Wesley are leading scorers, both with 15. Will Wesley have 18? Not this time. Final minute of the first half. Irish have led by as many as 12. Largest lead for Wake, six points in this first half. Williams. Had to kick it out. Musius. C. Laravia over the top. Ryan comes away with it. Only about a two second difference, G Man. Game and shot. And now Notre Dame wants a timeout. So for the Irish, first half. And for Wake that matter, game of runs. There you go, G-Man. Break yeah. it down. 
Well, and, and the thing, too, for Notre Dame, they've, they've had their runs when defensively they've gotten those steals out front and converted them. That we, they were, they're running selectively. And then, of course, the three-point shooting. But a uh, nice answer by Wake Forest to carve into this lead a little bit. But be good to get a stop here and keep, the, uh, keep it at six points. No doubt, because Notre Dame, as you saw in that graphic, runs of 18 to 4 and 17 to 4. And and Williams would, has been limited, right, by yeah. scoring with just six points, and yet it's a six-point game. I would expect Notre Dame in this possession to take a uh, get a shot up with five or three seconds left on the shot clock, not let Wake have a lot of time to answer. But the, you know, and the thing too is the clock is clock keeps running in the first half. Will they go back to the three-point? Well, nine of 19 for the Irish on three-pointers in the first half. Guy who needs to hit a shot right now for Notre Dame is Dane Goodwin. He's 0 for 3, and those are all three point attempts yet to score in the game. Irish average nine made threes per game this season. They've already got that in the first half. Put it in the freshman's hands. They will. Quick double. Lost it out of bounds. Wake's got it back. 8.1 on the clock. Nice double that time by CMU's his good active hands. And I think that you know, Wes, he was just trying to do something a little tricky. Wake's last two losses by just six points. Trying to cut the gap. Williams misses. Monsanto over the top, knocked it around. So Wake unable to put some points on the board at the very end of the first half, and it'll be the Irish. Going to the locker room with the six point lead over Wake Forest. The Irish have won five in a row on the road in the ACC. Wake trying to stop us in meeting. Clemson Tigers have lost five in a row. G Man Louisville's lost seven in a row, but they will hit head on. And, uh, you know, Louisville, it's just so much turmoil this year with uh, Chris Mack stepping down, Mike McGeese taking over midway through. We saw Clemson at Florida State earlier this week in overtime. Hunter Tyson out is a big injury for them. Williamson three to start the second half. His first points. Third made three of the game for Wake Forest. That's a 9-0 Wake run if you go back to the latter stages of the first half. Atkinson in there with the three personals trying to work on Walton. Reversing field and laying it up and in. He really wanted to turn over that left shoulder. Walton was sitting right there, so made the smart play, turned right around. Seven points for Atkinson. Averages about 12 and a half per game. I'm Wake. I'm just trying to hammer it inside, maybe get that quick foul on Atkinson, get his fourth. Williamson again from the corner. Back to back threes. Found a spot that he likes on the floor. Fifty made threes on the season now for Davian Williamson. The transfer from East Tennessee State. Second year in the Wake program. Goodwin turnaround. Fouled on the play for Goodwin. Yeah, and uh, they they needed to get him going. He he went in, really posted up, demanded the basketball, made a nice play. Yeah, you can attack Alondis Williams, get a foul, a little a cheap little foul right there, but a foul nonetheless. That's uh, Alondis Williams' second foul, and the first points of the game for Goodwin. So we had Williamson at one end. Get his first points with a couple of threes, and now Coach Bray's leading scorer, Dane Goodwin, the junior from Upper Arlington, Ohio. Uh, Williamson coming over towards the wake bench. Roger Ayers is at the scorer's table, joined by Rainey Styons. They said Williams originally. Dallas Walton was also there. He did reach in on Goodwin on the double team. And then Goodwin scored the bucket over Williams. Well, if, they, if they reverse it, and, uh, maybe are they looking to see if it was now, because he was in the act of shooting.
I mean, from that replay, Walton should have the foul, Mike. The reach in on the forearm, and that would be his third. So do you want three on Walton, or do you want two, two on, on Williams? Williams? Yeah. And Dave Walton's going to come out anyway. So they, they did, did, yes, yeah, Mike. They did switch it up. It yeah. was the right call. It was. Actually, and Wake actually ran, I think, better with uh, with C in in that first half. So Goodwin finishes off the old school three point play. His first three points of the ball game. 85% free throw shooter. Had a season high 23 points. And the OT win at home against Boston College this week. Made four three pointers in that game. C. He'll extend the range. It'll stay down for C. He's not bad. I mean, he's 38 percent from three. So, and I mean, he's not going to take a ton of them, but that's not out of his range. He's now made 17 threes on the season. And that's all that Wake is doing in this second half because Williamson had a couple before C from beyond the arc. And the lead has been cut to two. Goodwin on the entry. Williamson was defending. Here's the and this is, a, again, I'm sure in the scouting report, say, all right, we'll just we'll let him have that cover up on who he's screening for. Fantastic look from right behind the backboard at the three-pointer by C. Wake is three for three on three-pointers. That pass fumbled out of bounds. Wesley couldn't handle it. Ninth turnover of the game. And you know what? And it's not, maybe not unusual for a freshman, although you, you hate to call him freshman this late in the season, but when he's gotten in a hurry before he's caught the pass is when he's turned the ball over. Mike, don't forget you want to stay with us for the Ford fast break. It's coming up in moments. You think I'd forget that? <laughs> Just wanted to let all the loyal viewers know that's coming up. As the action continues in the second half, this is C off of one foot. Goodwin with the position and corrals it. Hub. Offensive foul. C with the position. First on Hub. Yeah, it's, you know, with, see, we talked about it, uh, staying an extra count or two with the screener. Wake was just two of nine in the first half on three-point shots. See again. LaRavia took a swipe at it over Hub. All right, you made one. You took another one to That's see it. where you were, and I think <laughs> that you should stay in your lane from here on out. <laughs> Hub with a crossover. Up and under with Ryan working that baseline. Mid-air contact. Moravia close by. C picks it up, though. It's his third. Well, you know, when you give up the baseline like this, he came out out of control. And it's, it's really, it puts your support in really a difficult situation. Ryan had five points in the first half. Shesky's going to rejoin the fray. Wesley comes out. And interesting, Mike Ray going with his uh, bigger lineup with Leshevsky and Atkinson on the floor at the same time. So Wesley's out of there, has not scored in the second half. 15 points in the first half. And that Ryan may, now up to seven, Mike. And that may be his first rest of the, uh, of the afternoon. Wesley played about 18 and a half minutes yeah. in that first half, G-Man. LaRavia was the one. He played the entire half. He led him in scoring in the first half with 15. Didn't miss a free throw. It was Williams on the drive and foul. Cormac Ryan second. And see, I mean, you know, there's a clear sight right there. I mean, the, you know, gives the referees a good look at it. And they, they've had a pretty tight whistle this afternoon. Williams thought about three. Reconsiders and hits. Yeah, I mean, you, you got to think that he's going to 
start to be more involved offensively. Had a tough shooting half in the first half, but he's got the ability to leave that behind. Eight points and three of 13 shooting for the game for Williams. But he has drawn the Deeks to within two. Approaching the 16-minute mark of our second half. So glad that you're with us. Tom Wormy, Mike Jaminski, our outstanding ACC production crew. It's a turnover up to Laravia. Tried to go behind the back. His momentum was taking him out of bounds. That might have been the better choice. Huff at the other end. Wow. And he had board coverage. Leshevsky was inside Goodwin, too. He just rose up from three on the break. That's now 10 threes in the game for Notre Dame. They've done it eight times this season against the ACC. This is C in the paint. Trying to get around Atkinson. Soft bounce. Well, at least to this point, the first five minutes of the second half, that Notre Dame has not fouled. But, uh, you know, it's just the smart play by Wake Forest to continue to go into the paint. So C is into double digits for the graduate student from Dakar, Senegal. Hub tried to flip it inside, picked off Laravia. Up ahead, C. Ball doesn't hit the floor, and it's a rim bender from Musius. And how about the two bigs leading the break? Irish by one. Hub. Atkinson. He's got nine, and the Irish take a timeout. The lead goes back up to three. Great end-to-end -end action. Musi is the jam at one end. Hub finding Atkinson at the other end. Irish up by three. Time has break presented by your local Ford dealer. And we reflect back on Wednesday, and what a win for Pitt on the road at North Carolina. G-Man, all five starters, get to double digits, and they win 76-67. Yeah, there were some injury issues. They lost some key players early in the year, but really have rebounded nicely. That was a great road win, their second road win of the year. They've got the size to deal with North Carolina inside. Horton had 19 to lead the way. Hughley with 18.7. Radio. Leads Wake Forest in scoring with 15. Wesley has 15 for the Irish. Was on the bench momentarily for a quick rest. Has not scored in the second half yet, but he is four of seven from three-point range. And Atkinson had that last bucket there for the Irish to bump that lead up to three. Notre Dame's made 10 threes, Mike, in this game. They're 11-0 this season when they make 10 or more three-pointers. Laravia around Leshevsky. A little bit of a shove. Leshevsky's picked up the foul. So Leshevsky's got three. Take a timeout. We'll stop the six game losing streak. So you'll see Louisville and Clemson, most of you, coming up. Bob Raffin, Brian Oliver. He'll just take a, you through that one. Yeah, just a reminder, Tom. You got uh, still, you got two guys in there for Notre Dame playing with those three fouls. Laravia. Second on Wesley. And if there's a guy, if they can dig in, uh, Wesley is the guy who can come in with active hands if the you know Wake continues to probe the interior. Laravia hunting his shot and points. Missed the shot. C. Wow, he faked everybody out. We talked about C has been, he has given them a lift. And we talked about that second theory score. And C with 13 now. The lead is just one for the Irish. They haven't missed a shot so far in the half. Four for four. Four for five. The tip. Goodwin was there. Wake had a one point lead midway through the first half. Soft bounce and roll for Williams. And the Deeks are back in front. 
Uh, that was a Joel Coliseum bounce for sure. What a soft shot. Double digits for Williams. Nowhere to go for Hub. He'll take the shot and he'll make it. Irish taking the lead right back. Double digits for Hub with 10. And Mike Bray is telling us that he'll score when he has to score and he'll make plays whatever his team needs at the moment. Williams for Wake 27 times this season. A double digit scorer. Atkinson got the rebound. They're able to get rebounds on jump shots outside. It's on those plays inside where it's been troublesome. Hub had to kick it back out. Wesley, three ball. First points of the second half, 18 in total. Pretty nice answer. Uh, quiet the crowd down, Tom, with uh, no, with Wake taking the lead and then a couple of answers for Notre Dame. Wesley is tied his season high with five made three-pointers in this game. His first made three of the second half. Williams' hesitation against two defenders. The roll wasn't there this time. Laramia, his first points of the second half. Krzyzewski mistimes the jump and uh, yet another offensive rebound. 17 points for Laravia. Irish have a two-game winning streak going in the series. That's way off the mark from Hub. And he had a switch on Laravia, but chose to, chose to take a jump shot. That bounces off. Irish want to run. They don't have the numerical advantage. Laravia tried to poke it away. Whistle on Laravia. And normally you would settle, you'd like Wesley to shoot from the outside, but he's come up big on those three-pointers. You want to try to keep him out of the paint. But uh, right now, Notre Dame, 50% from three, 11 to 22. And again, they are undefeated this season when they make 10 or more threes in a game. They're 11 and all. Their season high in a ACC game, Mike, is 15 at Louisville. Well, and two things that Notre Dame has done in this second half. One, that Wake has not attempted a free throw in the half. And also only two offensive rebounds after 12 in the first half. So a better job in those areas. But uh, Wake came out and got hot early on from three. Davian Williamson hit a couple of threes from the near corner at the other end of the court. Nadim C as well hitting a three. This is Wesley again. He's got six of them. And he's got the size with Williamson right there. I mean, he can go inside, but he can also shoot over the top of him. He's got 21 points to lead all scorers. Seventh time this season. 21 points or more for the freshman for the Irish. It's a C again. Trying to muscle his way. Atkinson. Wesley, G-Man, bounces out. One on three, and uh, <laughs> he was feeling it that time. That's deflected right to LaRavia. He'll spin it and kick. And Santo, the miss, good when the board. And that's what he's out there for. Uh, you know, 80% of his field goal attempts, Tom, are threes. And he will not be shy about getting them up. Good win. Stepped out of bounds. He did. Ayers, Roger Ayers was right on top of that. While we have a moment, Mike Jaminski, here's a message from Works Nitro. Meet Works Nitro. Powerful tools for any project with gas-like power without the gas. Fueled by PowerShare batteries to give you the power to outperform. See who's got enough gas in the tank as we head down the final 10 minutes of this second half and regulation. Williams will spin it and lay it in. He's come alive, been a lot more aggressive in this second half going inside. So strong at 220 pounds. Got 12 points in the game, had that triple double earlier in the season. First one since Tim Duncan. Williams scoops it up. Williamson on the run. Hub got in his way. They're going to call an offensive foul. That's Williamson in his third. 
right there. I think it's going to be his right arm getting out. Yeah, when you get that up and you extend it, then uh, referee right there to see it. Good call. You know, they, most of the calls so far in the block charge in this game have been offensive fouls. Twenty-four points off turnovers in the game. Wurtz. It's for the Irish off of weight turnovers. Couldn't convert this time. Williams. Starting maybe to get that look in his eye, G-Man, to take over here late in the second half. Walton with the dribble and the handle. Could not calculate the angle. Leshesky. Well, Walton has not been able to take advantage of that size the way C has. Just two points in the game for Walton. Leshesky. Wit on the run. Decides not to wait for reinforcements. Williams trying to bail him out. He got tied up with Wurtz. And Williams did bail him out on that play. I didn't know that that was a smart move. There were no numbers back, and he tried to be aggressive, but uh, excellent offensive rebound on the break. So Wake will keep possession. Wirtz on the foul. Londis Williams has a double-double as Goodwin comes into the game. Cormac Ryan is out. With his team up by three, 8.47 to go. Alondis well, Williams in the game now, 12 points, 5 of 17 shooting, and 10 rebounds. And again, his fifth double-double. Walton trying to contribute. This time, he's got it off the backboard. Yeah, just uh, used his dribble wisely that time. He just backed the defender underneath the rim. Atkinson, nothing that he could do. Once again, it's a one-point lead for the Irish in possession of the ball. They locked it into Leshevsky. Tough catch. Able to get the shot away. Laramia. Out of white jerseys, it was a tough shot inside. Monsanto. Wesley has it. Inside of eight minutes in regulation. Atkinson hustling down. Witt trying to defend him. Here's Hub. It's a three ball. Walton grabs it. Chance to take the lead. And they will. Williams slams it. Wow, the best player in the league gets lost inside. Williams, the rim, Bender to put the 261 as the lead goes back and forth here. The standings, top six in the ACC, Mike. Yeah, and uh, again, that was a tough home loss for North Carolina at an inopportune time. Wake Forest could really solidify things with a win here. They, they really just stopped that two-game losing streak. And I think a win would also set up the rest of their schedule very nicely. And there you see they're on the road at Clemson. It would be their 21st win if they can get it and today. we got a long way to go, though. And this place hasn't sounded like this place in a long time in late February. Atkinson got the defender in the air, does not get the bounce. He got it back somehow. It's 11 for Atkinson, and the lead has changed hand hands nine times in our game. Every time that Wake has gotten a lead in the second half, Notre Dame has had an answer for him. But keep in mind, Notre Dame only one timeout left last seven minutes. And the Irish had missed their last five field goal attempts before the Atkinson bucket. Walton missed close range. And Atkinson did well to not foul with it. He has Walton. not. Yeah, there were seven, we're 13 minutes and a half. He has not picked up his fourth, and Lashevsky is also sitting at three still. Wesley. He's coming back to earth a little bit with his three point shooting. Does have 21 in the game, and that leads everybody. Williams has 14. 
Got past the double, over the front rim, Alondis Williams. Now, Cormac Ryan is going to get that foul, and he didn't have to be. Watch him. He, he's got, he, he goes underneath him, and that's what gets the call. He didn't have to do that. Just make him make a tough shot. But that's, a, the, again, the, the strength of Alondis Williams and how he can finish against uh, smaller guards. Leshesky back into the game with his team trailing by one, and Williams at the free throw line. Williams had six points in the first half. He's up to 16 now. Two of two in the game from the line for Williams. The lead is two after trailing by six at halftime. Right, how about, and, you know, leads the league in scoring and an assist, and he leads his team in rebounding today with 10. He's got his fifth double-double. He's at, had seven of the last nine wake points. And they're up by two inside the Arabian knocked it away. They tried to get it to Leszewski. Williams trying to do it himself. It spun out. Goodwin able to grab it. Twelve made threes in the game for the Irish. Shot clock's at 10 for Hub. His team down by two. Walton just playing center field off of uh, Atkinson, and they have to settle for a tough shot. Hub now two of seven on three-pointers after the miss. Largest lead in the game for Wake Forest is six. C. Tough angle for C. A missed shot, but this is the lineup. This is uh, this is Steve Forbes' best defensive lineup. With uh, you, you got C and Walton and Laravia now at the at the three position. Forty-eight percent shooting for the Irish. Thirty-eight percent for Wake. Whistle and foul in traffic. Second on Williams. Next team foul for both teams will be. Put them the other in the bonus. That's a can you make it three white jerseys around him? Why reach, especially if you're Walton? Hub on the inbounds. Goodwin's been limited to three points, and that was on a three-point play. Not a three-point bucket. This is from Leshevsky. Couple of feet behind the line. Well, and Walton has been playing off the, the big guys outside. Atkinson off the floor now, and he's got to honor Lare or he's got to uh, honor Leshevsky out there. 11 points, Leshevsky, nine times this season, double digits. He's given his team a one-point lead. And 12 made threes. Williams driving. Nineteen points for Williams. Yeah, just a tough shot going going left finishing with the right Hub in trouble Wake with the ball in the lead by one after the Williams drive and hoop He's got it again Inside of four minutes to go in regulation Deeks last win in the series February of 2020, that was at home, 84-73, right here. They've lost three of the last four to the Irish in the series. C has something to say. And even though the shot clock was on his back that time, he didn't rush it, finished the play. Wesley driving. Walton challenging defensively, may have picked it up. Fourth on Walton. Free throws for the Irish when we come back. Deeks up 69 66. Side of it, haven't been to the free throw line a ton, but uh, taking advantage of the looks that they're seeing and 45% from three on the game. 
excellent percentage. Alondis Williams has come alive in the second half. 13 points after six of the first half. About the only saving grace is they made him a, a low percentage, high volume shooter, but you knew that he was going to get back into this game. Williams, the leading scorer of the ACC. Eight of 21 shooting for Williams. Wesley at the free throw line for the Irish. And I think the thing, too, for Notre Dame, Tom, you got to understand that under right around the three minute mark now, Leshevsky and Atkinson can be more aggressive defensively. 23 points now for Blake Wesley, the freshman from South Bend, Indiana. He's just too shy of his season high, which he got in a losing effort at Illinois in the non conference. Notre Dame, coming, Notre Dame coming out man to man. One point game after the Wesley free throws. Moravia trying to fight his way inside. Wesley was the closest defender. And Blake bailed him out with another reach in, really had Moravia locked up. While we have a second, here's a word from Z Max. Z-Max, proven to soak into engine metal and reduce carbon buildup, increasing fuel mileage, extending engine life, and saving you money with every mile. Z-Max, buy or subscribe today. Wesley picked up that foul, his third. The Ravy is perfect from the line, eight of eight, and as a team, Wake is 13 of 13. Well, the Irish are 9 of 10 from the free throw line. They're going to have Atkinson and Leshevsky out there defensively, but on the offense, they're going to go small. Goodwin coming into the game. First miss. Doesn't matter. C got it. Ooh, Arabia thought about pumping up a three. And that, uh, you know, having Atkinson out of the game right then hurt them on an offensive rebound. Williams from the wing. Goodwin. Always oh, seems to be in the mix, going for rebounds. Dane Goodwin at 6-6. Wesley got tangled up. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Inside of two and a half minutes to go in regulation. Ryan, kick. Wesley, three. C was able to save it. Wake with the ball and the lead by two. Crowd starting to stand. Williams spins and lays it in. We're inside of two minutes to go. Wake up by four. They tried to keep him pinned on the sideline, but they got to, he got to the baseline. What a finish. Walton to pick up his fifth. So Walton headed to the bench for Wake Forest. Four points and one of four shooting. A couple of rebounds for Walton. Time for Land Rover the drive. Alondis Williams in his monster second half up to 21 points now. There he goes, G-Man. Yeah, watch the hesitation against Leshevsky. Stands him up and then the spin into the middle. They want to try to keep him pinned, but uh, give that up. That's just a big time move. One of the most impactful transfers in the country. Easily. Two years at Oklahoma. Actually played in the NCAA tournament a season ago with the Sooners. He's already, but he's already scored more points this year than he did two <laughs> years at Oklahoma. He's almost got a green light, almost 20 per game, and he's above that today. Ryan clutch at the free throw line. He's got eight points now. Let's see what Notre Dame does defensively if they stay man, if they switch, go zone. Four for four at the line for Cormac Ryan, Jr. from New York, New York, has a couple of free throws. Two-point difference. Williams with the kick out. The, the game clock has not moved. Everybody's pointing at the scoreboard. 
I saw it at 144, Mike, and it froze there. Roger Ayers was the referee who picked it out. He was looking at the, uh, cl uh, the shot clock at the other end of the court. Nothing was moving. What would you say, about 10 seconds maybe came off it? This is after the free throws by Cormac Ryan. So it's at 148. Starts to move. And then it stops. Play continues. Now everybody's pointing at this point. I mean, I was unofficially counting. It looked like 12 seconds. Wow. Bill Covington Jr. is at the scorer's table. They've got to do some math and figure this one out. Right now, it looks like they've got the game clock where it needs to be, but then the shot clock has to be adjusted. Okay. Now the game clock just went back up to 148, so they're going to take a look at it and try to figure it out. Each time it's going to get, each team, Mike, is going to get a breather now, too, with 148 to go. Well, and it, it benefits Notre Dame with uh, with only the one timeout, one called official timeout remaining. But you're right, Tom, good chance to, and especially for both teams, to just get a breather right here for the last minute and change. So, Adim C has a double-double for Steve Forbes in the game. He's got 15 points and 10 boards. The leading scorer is Williams with 21. They're going to go to 129 on the game clock, but you need to adjust the shot clock as well. It would be Wake's basketball. Notre Dame has just two field goals since the 11-18 mark of this half. But it's just yeah, a two-point game. Yeah, and they did adjust it down to yep. 11 seconds, so yep. everything where it should be. Good work by the officials to calculate those numbers. Luravi on the inbounds. Clear out for Williams. Wesley defends. They go for a three ball and get it. You see us. Six three of the game for Wake. Ryan at the other end. He makes a three for Notre Dame. And a timeout on the court. 12 points for Ryan. And 14 made threes in the game for the Irish, trailing by two. Here's the look. They got it out of Williams' hand, and then that extra pass. Musius has been a little quiet in the game, but stepped into a three right there. And then this was just a great play by Blake Wesley. And uh, Cormac Ryan has really blossomed since he's been in the starting lineup. Those two games of the starter, Tom, four of seven for him from three. And Ryan, two of three today. He is one of five players in double digits for the Irish. Three players double figures, led by Williams with 21 for Wake. 18 for LaRavia, had 15 well, in the first half, and C has 15. And you look at the numbers, and Mike Ray talked about it, that he could live with 30 points from Wake Forest from the three-point line and from the free-throw line. And right now, they are at 31. So within his comfort zone, and they've really cut down on, uh, on the fouling in the second half. So the arrow favors Notre Dame. They are out of timeouts. Wake Forest has a couple to work with, with 106 on the game clock. And Wake has had a couple of hard luck losses recently against Duke and Miami. Their last two losses by just six points. They've got the lead by two right now. Against one of the best road teams in all of the nation. Notre Dame is seven and three on the road. Tied for the most road wins in Division I. Final minute, two-point game. Williams, crossover spin and bucket. Come on, this Williams. Uh, he's just been unstoppable against the drive. Wesley was trying to drive, and a foul is called. Monsanto with the reach in. One and one. Neither team in the double bonus yet. 30 is 
Monsanto right yeah. there. And see, you, what you, you reach because he wasn't in position. He didn't slide over to pick up that drive. I mean, you know that this guy at the free throw line is going to be super aggressive trying to get to the rim. So Wesley is 3 of 4 from the line, 11 of 12 as a team for the Irish, make it 12 of 13. Well, we've seen clinic from the free throw line from both teams. <laughs> 24 points for Wesley. 24 points for Wesley. One possession game, but Wake has the ball. 17 points in the second half for Williams, Mike. About 13 points between shot and game, or 13 seconds between shot and game clock. Let's see if they try to jump. Williams get the ball out of his hands. Ryan tries to guard him. Fall away. Rattles out. Atkinson the board. Chance to tie with a three for the Irish. They've made 14 in the game. Wesley wants to drive and kick. This is Ryan. Angular rebound, Atkinson. He pokes it up ahead. LaRavia had it for a second. Whistle and foul. Second foul on Hub. i tell you what, Wesley, I mean, that was a big-time play. That's as good a look, a clean a look at three as you're going to get, and uh, just couldn't come up with the glass. And uh, LaRavia's been making big plays all afternoon. So LaRavia is 8 of 9 from the line, 13 of 14 as a team for Wake. He earns a second free throw. Remember, no timeouts for Notre Dame right now. Wake will use one, Mike. Moravia with that first free throw. Puts the Demon Deeks up by four. Remember, they trail by six at halftime. The Irish this season, when leading at the half, were 13 and 2. The Irish this season, making 10 or more threes in a game, 11 and 0. Yeah, and it's just the one thing that Steve Forbes is saying right now: just nowhere even near the shooter. Now, Laravia still has one more free throw to come. He's got 19 points. You know, if you wanted to, I mean, you, you take the points where you can, and, and then you know, it's either four or five point lead, but. You know, you miss, it's not the worst thing in the world either. There's only three and a half seconds left on the clock. I take the points, so I get greedy. Five point lead would seem to be enough. Last win for the Deeks in the series was right here, February of 2020. 84-73 against the Irish. Don't forget Clemson and Louisville, top of the hour. The combination of Rathbun and Oliver will take you through that one. The assembled crowd seems to think that the Deeks have enough. LaRavia at the line for his second free throw. Lead is five. Only three and a half seconds to go. LaRavia with 20 points. And the Irish will not attempt a shot. That is it. The final count, 79-74. The second half comeback for Steve Forbes and the Demon Deacons, and they've won their 21st game of the season. That was a huge win for Wake Forest, coming off of a two-game two losing streak, protecting home court as well, and uh, I think that uh, sews up.